Aurora is up massively. Now who's buying here? Is this small retail? Is this the big whales? Is this maybe manipulation by the centralized exchanges? Let's have a look at the data. This is the rally I'm referring to, 250% in this week only. But unfortunately, that's not typical for the token. At some point, we were at $35. So it's no surprise that the total value locked, so the capital locked on the chain, also collapsed. Now measured in Aurora token, it's pretty stable. But again, the price of Aurora went down together with all of the ecosystem tokens. Now the reason why the price went down is here behind me. It's on this chart. This is the number of circulating Aurora tokens over time. This is just this year. This is all time. In the last year alone, the number of tokens increased by 252% roughly. If you increase the number of tokens by that much, and the demand doesn't grow at the same pace, of course the price has to go down. But then the question is, why is it recently going up that much? I think it's because of this here. Aurora can be traded as perpetual futures, as derivative contracts on Gate.io. And look at this. This is the funding rate of those perpetual futures. Massively negative. It was incredibly expensive to bet on falling prices in the perpetuals market. Thus, seeing the price recently deflating isn't that surprising. Now let's have a look at the Joe Schmoes versus the whales of this world. Who is buying most here? On the left side, we've got the number of wallets that hold at least 0.1 Aurora token. Now this is on the Ethereum chain. This is the ported token on ETH. In the middle, we've got the number of holders that have at least 100 tokens. So that's currently worth roughly 50 US dollars. On the right side, we've got the largest of the holders, at least on Ethereum. 10,000 tokens is the minimum holding of $5,000 worth of the token. Now see how this went up really sharply for the smaller wallets but not so much for the large whales. That's not good. What you want to see is a lot of whale interest, ideally even before regular people went in, because that would mean in turn that maybe the whales have some interest in pushing this. Maybe they're going to promote this on YouTube or on Twitter or wherever. If this rally isn't backed by the regular whales, then probably it's again centralized exchanges, especially Gate.io that's doing this. Now, independent of this, let's look at the major holders on chain of the Ethereum based Aurora token. Let's have a look at what else they hold. We've got this wallet over here, 40 million in total, 1.1 million of Aurora, also holds quite a bit of ocean tokens. That's a pretty obscure coin. Not a lot of people know about that, so maybe it might... So maybe it makes sense to have a look at Ocean. Another wallet, 1.8 million in total size. 200,000 of that is in Aurora. There's also some Glamour as in Moonbeam. But here again, something not so common. Boba, 110,000 and Dia, 110,000. So probably also worth looking at. Next, we've got a 670,000 wallet. 10% roughly of that in Aurora, but much bigger bets on RVST and on GFEL. Let's look at three more wallets and at potential altcoins to further research, especially the ones that aren't that well known might be worth researching further. CLV and Boson comes to mind here. Pendle is relatively well known already and it went up quite a bit recently. Second last wallet has some FLR in it. And the last one that has half of their portfolio in Aurora holds a lot of C98 and Kono as well. Now, why do we look at these wallets? Because those wallets made money with Aurora and maybe they make some smart picks. So probably it makes sense to at least spend some time on those other tokens as well. I do that kind of analysis, especially when a pump like this is front run by the whales. We don't see this here, unfortunately, but when we see a lot of buying before the pump, before retail buys in, that's very good. You want to know what the insiders are doing. But here, unfortunately, the insiders were not on chain. Here, the insiders probably sat in some office at Gate.io. If you learned a thing or two, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It helps the channel grow. There's also a free Telegram. Link is down below.